Hi guys, welcome to my channel. It's Jen here, also known as the Diamond Painting Gamer. And I'm bringing you a finish. It's my first finish from November. It's an easy whim finish, easy whim canvas. And it's these lovely uh, fish here. It's a 35 by 40 round and it was on double sided adhesive. And you know, wow. This is this is beautiful. I really, really love this picture. I love this image. But by it, I hated, hated doing it. Um, it was just like, hey, let's do a an orange swirl, and then let's do a blue swirl, and then let's do another orange swirl, and then let's do a blue swirl. It got to be quite tedious, even though it was only 30 by 40. But yeah, I love it. I love, I really, really love the effect on this. Oops, my drill's popped off. Yeah, I know, I, it's fantastic. It's absolutely stunning. It's absolutely beautiful. But that's not the real purpose of the video. The real purpose of today's video is I thought I'd show you how I kit down. So now that I've finished this um, project here, I'm ready to kit down and... Um, use the containers for, for, for my next project. So what we'll do is I'll show you the drills first that were left over. Let's move the painting out the way. So I like these carry cases. This one I think I got from Amazon and they come with um, the round bottles and you'll see here that what I'll do what I like to do is I like to um, I number the bottles um, one two three four five and so on all the way up to um, on this case I think I've got it labeled up to 35 because I think that was probably the highest number that I used in that kit so I, I, I tend to label it by um, by drill number so to give an example from this kit here um drill uh number one was dmc 152 and the symbol was these two wavy lines drill number two was dmc 168 and had the symbol l and and so on and then i use the key when i'm doing the diamond painting uh, to match up the correct drill to the correct symbol. That's the way that works for me. Um, yeah, everybody's different. You know, you have your own way of working. Um, but yeah, that's how it works for me. So I had um, easy, easy when we're not too bad in terms of um, quantities. Um, most of them... You know, I've got plenty left over. So you see here, I think this one here had tons left over. Um, but yeah, there's normally lots and lots and lots of drills left over. So plenty to put away. Right, let me show you how I store them and then we'll get um, these ones away. So this is my uh, a large storage box. It's um, again, I think I got this from Amazon, and it's uh, bound uh, metal bound at the edges. There, if you can see that, so it's nice and strong, nice and sturdy, and uh, the base as well. It's got metal binding on it, so um, nice and strong and sturdy. And you can subdivide um, the actual, let me take these out. You can subdivide the box with uh, these partitions here. So, yeah, this is my storage box and these are my rounds. So, like, I've got one for rounds and one for squares. And what I do is I have, get these bags here. Now you can buy these bags on Amazon. 
in a pack in a set and they come with um, sticky labels and also these large these large rings here as well and I use them to um, to basically store my uh, spares these strap bags are absolutely fantastic they're really strong they're really tough um, the seals are, are fantastic um, what I'll do is I'll uh, link below I'll link the box and I'll link these as well um, and you can have a look at them I think I've seen some other people with these before these bags and what I do is I'll group each number each set of numbers together on the one ring so this ring here is some are some round a beads um, what I've done is because I have a lot of diamond art club is um, the ABs I tend to store as diamond art club numbers so it's 128 134 137 okay oh there's 141 um, this one I don't think I had a diamond art club number but I had um, it's a 666 AB so I've just made its own little bag up there so yep and then um, so that's um, ABs and then I'll have another set which is uh, the one starting with 100 oh actually these are 100s and 200s so 152 154 and so on 208 210 so yep yeah. That's how I organise um, my spare drills. Um, as I say, I've got one for rounds. I've got another one for squares. Um, I might get a third one for um, specials. At the moment, my, my rhinestones and my special drills are in Tic Tac containers. Um, but yeah, I'll probably change it out and, uh, and maybe switch to this system. I've also got some packs of unopened drills here. Lots of um, Diamond Heart Club uh, 310s. I think this, this looks like it all came from the one kit. I've got a feeling it might have come from... A feeling it might have come from where the fun never ends. I know that one had lots of 310 in it. So, yeah. Yes, I have completed Where the Fun Never Ends. I did, I completed it probably about this time last year or, or maybe a wee bit later, maybe just into the new year. Um, it is uh, my, one of my children's, all, all three of my children love the show, uh, Adventure Time. So yes, it was, it was a must, a must to, uh, to complete. And uh, I finished it. The biggest one I've done to date, um, certainly the biggest round, um, the biggest square, well, it's got to be cancelled that I'm working on at the moment. I would need to have a little look at the at the the area, you know, which was which is bigger, you know, the cancer or where the fun never ends. But yeah, I've done so. I've done some monsters. What, what other big ones have I done? I've, um i've done here comes a bride diamond art club which is which is very big it's very long it's the one that's um like what is it the corpse bride um it's based on that um biggest square another big square that i've done is um oh the one that's Game of Thrones. Let me oh, let me just double check because I've got it written down. I can't remember the name of it now off, off the top of my head. It is. Uh, let me find it. It is Once Upon a Dark Night. Okay, which is actually another Mandy Manzano. How come all my big ones are Mandy Manzanos? Um. That was 55 by 80, and that's the Red Queen, Melisandre, or based on the Red Queen, uh, or the Red Witch, sorry, Melisandre from Game of Thrones. So that was a big one. And I've actually got the um, the other one, um, which is Mama Knows Best, which is um, 
Khaleesi, Mother of Dragons. Anyway, let's uh, get on with uh, de-kitting our fish here. So I've got my key here so I can refer to what, what the DMC is. And we've got number one, let me get bolt just in case of accidents. Um, let's get a big, I was picking up a little boat. Let's get a big boat just in case of accidents. And uh, yeah, so number one is 152. And um, I've got 152 already. What I might do is I'm kind of working a wee bit closer to myself. So let me just move the cat the stand slightly. Okay, I will be a bit better here, but it'll be a bit better here. We can see what's going on now. Okay, so one five two. Well now. How has everybody been today? It's Monday, the 8th of November, and hope everybody had a nice weekend. I had a very, um, oh, I was about to say I had a very relaxing weekend. I did have a very relaxing weekend. I spent it all diamond painting doing cancer. But I do have a, I haven't got this, um, I haven't got this, uh, a bag with this number on it. So that is uh, 168. So yeah, I spent um, the weekend working on um, Cancer by Josephine Wall. And I got, I got a lot done. I got an awful lot done. Um, so... I think I've got, got about a third of the painting left to go now. And yeah, I've, I'm on target to finish. I'm on target to finish by the end of November. Four, five, three. So nothing on the 300s. So that can go back in. Yeah, I think I'm on target to finish by the end of November. Um, I posted on Instagram. Um, one of my, uh, you know, how far I had got and yeah, about a third left to go, I reckon. So yeah, well on track, well on track. Um, prior to that, I'd been working on these fish. Um, as I say, the fish, I do like the image. Five. I do like the image, but the um, I didn't like the process very much. It was um, yeah. It I find it all very samey, and the, the, that's weird because I quite like doing mandalas. I like the repetitive nature of doing mandalas, and um, but I think because because they're in special shapes and the. Um, the fish were in drills, just regular drills. I um, I uh, yeah, got a bit bored with it, but I ploughed on. I got there in the end. Got finished, and as I said, I do really, really like the image. I I love the picture, so it was worth it. It was worth it. Five nine seven is the next one. It's nice teal. Um, yeah, you'll see a lot of teal in this de-kitting. <laughs> I think there's every single shade of uh, of under the sun. No three ten in this one, which is good. There is nine three nine though, but not very much. Number six is six four seven. So that's that ring done. Four, seven. Yep. 
a lot of these colours I've got already. So, because I've been doing this for a while, um, storing my spare drills like this. Um, I don't store from every company. Um, only a few. Um, six, six, six. Uh, I store from Easy Whim, obviously. Uh, also sport, um, stored uh, Diamond Art Clubs. Um, I think Art Dot. I think I stored some of theirs because their drills were quite good quality. Um, Dreamer Designs. Yeah, basically anywhere I've got decent quality drills and also that the shades kind of match because, you know, that, that's the thing. Occasionally you'll get di different dye lots and they won't match. 777 is the next one. My 700 ring is absolutely massive. Um, 775. Oh, I haven't got any in this picture, but I absolutely adore that colour. I mean, look at it. How can you not like that colour? Beautiful. Anyway, distracted. <laughs> Where did I go to? Oops, there's a few left in there that got stuck. You know what? We're not going to bother with them. And one in there. Not bother. I won't bother with those single drills. <laughs> so what I eat. And eat is 777. I don't think I've got that one. 775779. So yeah, I've been storing drills for ages and it surprises me quite often how you know many many times I have to put new ones on there so uh, I can't be the only one that uh, stores the drills um, I don't know if any of you store yours if you do please let me know how you do it it's, um, it's always interesting to find out how different people um, do different things. 9807. 807. I haven't got that one either. My goodness. Hope I've got enough bags there. I've got some more, but... Um, I, don't, I kind of don't want to dig into open another packet if possible. Number nine, eight oh seven. So I had a bit of a senior moment earlier on today. So um, I was looking through some some uh, paperwork at work. And I completely blanked on the, on the year. That's like, this was done in 2020. I said, well, that's just been done then. And it's like, no, it's 2021. I'm like, is it 2021 or is it 2020? I had a, a brief moment of confusion. Which, uh, yeah, it wasn't like me. But I seem to be getting more and more like, you know, episodes like that. Oops, there's one other one stuck in there. Well, let's keep that one. Oops. Doesn't want to come out. We'll bring it out with a finger. But yeah, that caused much hilarity. Me thinking it was 2020 when it's actually 2021. So, um, I'm actually the oldest member of staff at my work. Well, in the, the department that I work in. Most of the people that I work with, uh, or a lot of the people that I work with, are actually the same age as my children, <laughs> my, my oldest children. So that's, uh, yeah, I'm kind of like mum. <laughs> they look after me. <laughs> Number 
is quite nice because um, particularly the boys, the uh, if I ever I need anything lifted or taken off of shelves or any carrying to be done, uh, the boys are very you know you know what the, that the girls wouldn't offer. Eight. Don't have that one, but they're they're very good. They're like, oh, don't worry, Jennifer, we'll get it for you. Um, can we lift that down for you? Uh, we'll take that over there, you know. And um, a few years ago, I would have been offended by that. It's like you know, I can do it myself. I can carry this box. I can climb up this ladder, um, but now I'm like, <laughs> bring it on, you know, please help me. <laughs> I'm not proud anymore. Um, yeah, I mean, when you've got sort of like young, fit, 22 year old guys wanting to carry boxes for you, um, yeah, <laughs> don't knock it. It's uh, very much appreciated, very much appreciated. Right, 900, number 13. Have I got a 900? We do. My, nine, my 900 ring is absolutely massive as well. It's kind of funny how you kind of pick up colours. You know, you might have more of, of one group um, and less of another. I thought these were different shades, but I think it's just the light. It must just have been the light. These shades are absolutely fine. Um, yeah, isn't it funny how you have um, have more than one, you know, what, what, one group of colours and you get to have lots of them and then hardly any of another. So I've got hardly any colours beginning... 200 in the 200s but i've got loads in the, the 900s at 15 20. and because i've got these down in numerical order they're it's really easy to find on their rings so i know this is a 900 ring i have everything in numerical order and it's really easy just to flip around oops just to flip round and uh, must, these must have been quite staticky, which is why I got the odd one sticking in there. It's really easy to flip round and get get to the one that you want. Easy to find. Sixteen looks like ninety nine. It is. But funnily enough, I don't actually have have a huge number of spare nine three nines. I think I've had to dig into them a couple of times for, um, you know, extras. Did you, did you hear that snap? That's quite satisfying, that. Do it again. It's a really good seal on these. Very good seal. Number 17943, and I don't have nine. And it's also a good way to find out, you know, know if you haven't got anything missing. So, like, so this is 943, because I've got these in numerical order, I've got 939 to 946. So, I know I need my, I know I need 943. So, I'll get another bag. So, the pack this comes with. You get these little bags, you get the stickers, but you also get some trays as well. Just plain, the small plain white trays with the spout. I can't remember how much they are. Um, it'll be in British pounds, obviously. They're like ten ninety nine or something, and you get a hundred bags. So... Yeah, I mean, they're, they're pretty good value. And uh, what is it? 200 bags. Oh, I can't remember. Um, no, I think it's 100 bags. Yeah, it's 100 bags. Um, 
but yeah they don't take up as much space and you can get more stuff in them and they're more robust than those regular um ziploc bags that you get and i've lost my place 18 996 now i'm pretty sure i've got that one that's quite a a common colour. Three nine nine six. It's funny as well how you recognise the kind of same kind of colours that pop up all the time. So as you can see, yes, lots of blues going in and pinks and browns going into this this um uh painting. At 19, oh gosh, 3841. No, 3041. Put the 900s away. That's 37. I think the three zeros are on here as well. I might have to start to split these up a little bit. They're starting to get a bit hefty on the ring. Right, 19, 3041. Don't have that one. I've got a feeling I might not have a few of these um, ones that start with three. So three zero four one. So uh, since we're, I mean, we're more than halfway through. There are thirty four colours in this um, in this uh, painting. So this is at number nineteen. Let's look this out just now, that way I know what, <laughs> I know where I am and I don't lose my place. So 3041, 3072. I've got that one. This is the one I had loads left over with here, number 21, 3328. Oh, I've got that there as well. Ah, wait a minute, this looks very different. Okay, so here you go. I don't know how well you can see this. Let me sort of like bring this a bit closer. But if you see there, this is 3328 and it's kind of a reddish orange colour. But this also says it's 3328 and it looks more like a, a dark dusky pink. So yeah, we've got two different dye lots here. It looks more like 3341, which is like a salmon pink. Actually, no, it doesn't because it's darker. So what I might do is I might make a, I'll still call this 3328, but I might make a separate bag up. That's what I'll do. But that's very different. I mean, that's a dark reddish orange. And this is like a dark dusky pink. Yeah, I'll make up a different bag for that. I think I'll keep, I'll keep a hold of them. Sometimes it makes you think, is that 3328 or is it something else? I mean, it could be that the ones, a diamond art club, um, and this one is a this one's obviously easy whim, so that's what it could be. But I've got plenty of bags, so yeah. I mean, even if it's an artifact of the bag, you can see that it's it's very different. Yeah, in those bags, that's it. Yeah, very different. Unless I've labelled <laughs> the one that I've already got on my ring, unless I've labelled that one wrong. <laughs> Which I could have done. 22, 3726. Three sevens are on here. Yep, yeah, and I've got 3726. So now I'm going to play close attention before I tip them in to make sure that they're... That's the same. They're not different colours. 
or different die lots. Twenty-three, thirty-seven, fifty. Got that one. Twenty-four, thirty-seven, sixty-five. That one I wonder how many different well people you know people will know actually but I wonder how many different um DMC numbers there are out there for drills 3766 is the next one Again, that's quite a common one. I'm surprised I don't have. Oops! I'm surprised I don't have more of that. Right, number 26 is G768. Oh, okay, don't have that one. I've just realised I brought a tray out in case of accidents and I haven't actually, um, I'm not actually tipping it over the tray, I'm tipping. Yeah. Right, 3768, number 27, 3808, okay that's on a different ring. Eight, five, two. Oh, okay, so it's quite a lot. I think these are all three eight numbers. Did I say three three eight oh eight? Oh, I've spotted this one. Look at that. Lovely. Get distracted by all the different colours. Three eight one one, three eight oh seven. 808, here we go. And number 28 is 3809. And I've got that one as well. Twenty-eight, twenty-nine, three, eight, one, oh. See what see what you mean now when I said there was every colour, every single shade of teal was that you can imagine. So that's like three different shades of teal in quick succession. And here comes another one. Well, that's more that one's kind of more greeny. Okay. So thirty is three eight one two, which I don't have. So I'll make a backup for that. Three more, four more to go. So 31 is 3847. There we go. There's me getting distracted again. Nice purple. <laughs> 3846. 3848, but no 3847. Okay, so I'm getting back for that one. So this type of storage works for me at the moment. It may change, 
but uh, I like I like it. <laughs> it suits me. Seven. Fifty-two. Next is three, eight, four, eight. And three eight four nine again. These these are all these kind of sea sea green colours. Sort of like more like a turquoisey green, multiple shades. So now you can see why I was getting a bit annoyed doing some <laughs> doing that painting. Um, well, not annoyed, um, bored because like I seem to be working in. It was there was a lot of confetti in in that painting. Um, and it just seemed to be like lots of different shades of the same colour. Um, I mean, it's, it's it's very pretty. I mean, I love the image, you know, I love the detail. And actually, the confetti is, is what makes it work. Um, otherwise, it would be too blocky and it wouldn't look as good. But yeah, I was getting very fed up with it. Uh, okay, last one is 34, which is 3859. Three, and we don't have that one, so here we go. Three, that anymore this is all my um, bits and pieces from um, my diamond art club um, bits, um, kit move that out of the way get rid of the tail of the stickers um, all the little punch outs we can go and yeah I think I might organize this let's move this don't need that anymore And I also don't need this legend anymore, so so that can go too. But what I think I will do is um, I might just shift these about a bit now because it's they're getting a bit they're kind of bulging a bit. So I might move up here. Here's some, some of my spare bags. Um, no. I might put this ring in here now. Uh, that's my stickers. Or the oops, my labels. Actually, hold on, let's. Let me try something else. Instead of having those there, I could maybe try them flat. Put them in there. My pen. Oh. Works a little better. A little better. Um, so I'll move them up there. These ones can go down here. Down here. Actually, what I might do is my stickers and my spare bags and my pen. I've got these can go in there. Stickers, spare bags, pen. Can go down at the front here. It's just the last time I did this, I noticed that the 
the uh, lid was bulging a little bit. Why do they not want to go down? Why do they want to stay up? Let's try this way. That's better. And then this lid should fit on here without peeling off. Perfect. Right. Okay, so this is my, um, that's how I kit down. And it's my storage system for my round drills. And yeah. So um, thank you very much for watching the video. Uh, if you like what you've seen, um, please uh, like, uh, put a thumbs up there and, and like the video. And uh, yeah, if you want to see more from me, I'd love you to subscribe. And I will see you all in my next video. Cheerio, folks.